Everybody, welcome to the 12th installment of the Nerd Period Podcast. What is going on, everybody? Scuffed stream, I know. It would not be a Nerd Period Podcast if the stream wasn't started at least 10 minutes late. Let's not lie. When has any stream ever been on time besides the first stream we ever did on this podcast? If you guys don't know, I clearly have chat set up now for um the stream. Haha, <laughs> sex. <gasps> He said the sex word. I did a little changes just because I thought it would make the podcast more full, more interesting, and I really enjoy it. So the reason why I was late to the podcast this time, okay, because I always have an excuse, okay? Always have an excuse. This all started from three o'clock today. This is why I'm late to the podcast. It all started at 3 p.m., okay? Um, so my sister decided to make some homemade French toast. She was making some homemade French toast. I went downstairs and got some of that French toast, and it tasted great. Little did I know, I had five slices of French toast. Little did I know, these things were 160 calories per piece of French toast, all right? And I was like what and so i'm eating 2800 calories a day so i have to track that you know even if it's some terrible food which by the way i regret that ended up being 800 calories so i was for the rest of the day i was so hungry because french toast does not fill you up whatsoever it's horrible your stomach still feels like the empty void it was before eating french toast the only difference is you shoved something in your mouth and your taste buds felt it so before the podcast i decided to make some dinner which my dinner ended up taking a little too long to cook of it oh it was so good but yeah that's why the podcast is late but anyways guys the topic today of the podcast if you read it from the thumbnail 10 minutes after i changed the thumbnail is youtube still a job even if you don't get paid so the reasoning behind the thought behind this all right is i was having one of those random conversations you just have in your head for no reason do you know when you're like so bored and you just have a conversation in your head comparing stuff stuff and everything well for me i was thinking would i rather lift forever and not have youtube or do youtube and never lift again this seems like a very simple question it's just like what would you rather do but i was asking this in my head off the basis that they are both hobbies for me it really got me thinking is youtube really a hobby let me let me look up the definition of hobby real quick the definition of hobby is an activity done regularly in one's leisure time for pleasure and the definition of a job is a paid position or regular employment well i don't necessarily agree with those they they don't really make sense in some ways with youtube right for instance me i don't get paid at all i am literally doing this just because i want to do this but i don't necessarily consider it as a hobby even though i've always kind of said yeah youtube's a hobby it doesn't feel like a hobby because it's actual hard work YouTube, I've never had a harder job than YouTube. YouTube is, it's crazy how easy work is compared to doing YouTube. With a job, you go into your job, right? And you have a simple set of instructions of what you're going to do for the next eight hours. And then you do that. But with YouTube, it's all you. Nobody is telling you what to do. Not even the people who watch you on a consistent basis. They're not telling you what to do. The only person that's telling you what to do is yourself. And it's it's all very self-motivated. It's just crazy. It doesn't feel like a hobby at points. Like I love editing. Don't get me wrong, but editing sometimes is so much work with jobs. There's resistance. And what I mean by resistance is there's a force that is making you kind of not want to do it. There's just, man, I really don't want to do this. And we always have that with job, but with hobbies, you never really get that resistance with working out. For example, I love working out. I never Never have resistance with working out. I say I want to work out. I will stop literally whatever I'm doing and go do it because I have that much fun while I'm working out. And it's just so fun for me. And that's why I love working out and why I consider working out a hobby more than I consider YouTube a hobby. Same. I used to have the same dream, but don't have the software or tech to produce quality content. That's not an excuse. You no. Don't use that as an excuse. Literally, don't use that as an excuse. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. If you have a dream, do it. Dude, I started my channel off. I had a crappy laptop that I thought was so good. It took over an hour to render 
a one minute video you know that video it's every day bro but it's i'm on Reese. that took over an hour to render i used to stream on my ps4 i made terrible quality videos with a horrible mic and i did had no clue what i was doing i used this crappy film software called filmora that when you rendered the video there was a huge ass watermark in the middle of the screen and i eventually found out a way how to remove that by going offline like no don't use tech as an excuse for your dream what that ends up doing is just making you a better creator in the long run you know what because you knew the struggle of having to make videos on nothing okay you had to make videos on nothing just think about that think about how much of an advantage that puts you at then the people who started on great computers okay think about how much of an advantage that puts you at and how much more experience you'll have because of that i used to use my phone to record my voice exactly guys like kamal and i we're perfect examples we literally both started on nothing we're making stuff on our ps4 and finding out odd ways to be able to make a video because that's how that's how motivated we were that's how much we wanted to do youtube you just have to make things work and you have to figure it out i know it sucks it sucks man nobody wants to try on something that they can't put their best into and what i mean was that is say say just any youtuber lost their computer right now and they had absolutely no money to get it back but they did have their ps4 do you know how much of the population would quit 99 percent. but do you know who wouldn't quit kamal and i the people who started like that kamal and i figure out a way but those other 99 percent of people who started on like they had a computer with an i7 in it and a 1080 ti they're just gonna give up Oh, that is so tiny. That's like my penis. Okay, guys, here's the story. So when I was in fifth or sixth grade, this kid in my class, his name was Cameron or some shit. He was autistic and had a heart problem, but most of all, he was stupid. My teacher's last name was Beatty, so we called him Master Beatty. He hated that. So one day out of nowhere, Cameron said, can I call you Master Beatty? Mr. Beatty was as pissed as he told Cameron to go to the corner of the room. Like five minutes later, the fucking lights start flickering and Master Beatty said, Cameron, stop turning turning the lights on and off. He did not stop. His arms were at his side. Dude, he <laughs> the lights on. He could not, he would not stop. People were screaming. <laughs> Why does this sound like a horror story? After 20 seconds of this shit, Beatty yanks his arm and he falls. He hits the ground and starts screaming the most high-pitched noise ever. I myself was taking a shit and walked into the room. Cameron on the floor. Everyone losing their shit. <laughs> that was that was incredible. That was the most incredible and beautiful thing i've ever read i don't think riley i don't i won't be able to read that book book bro after after reading that story man i don't think anything can trump that that was just so fantastic and beautiful man i'm tearing up <laughs> I want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for stopping by. There's, a, There better be a podcast highlight with how funny as shit this podcast was. Yeah, there will be. All right. So, guys, if you haven't already, follow the Discord, uh, follow the Twitter account. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for stopping by. I always appreciate these times to talk to you guys, talk about real stuff, talk about stuff that's just on my mind. And you know what? You guys bring me up, and I'm glad that I can sometimes help bring you guys up too. Have a good night, everybody. I love you all, and peace.